everyone you are welcome to Joe JGI solution tutorial channel I am MNJ Adaviruku today I want to take you through the component of GIS the component of GIS now when we talk of the component of GIS the component consists of all the units or elements that integrate into the system if one of the component is missing the whole system becomes useless uh, the components of GIS consist of the hardware, the software, the people, method or procedure, data, network and communication. Now let's take the components of GIS one after the other. Number one is the hardware. The hardware in the form of computer is central in this area. It runs the software. This is where data collected is stored and where the personnel interact with the data. However, hardware isn't static. It obviously depends on what your goal is. The hardware is in categories. The category one is the data collection hardware. An example of that is GPS, cameras, probe, etc. Then we also have the data input hardware like scanner, digitizer, etc. Then we have data output hardware. Example is printer your computer monitor, your plotter, they are part of data output hardware. Then we have data analysis and storage. An example of that is your computer and hard drive. It's an example of data analysis and storage hardware. Then the number two soft, uh, component of GIS is software. The software, GIS software provides the instructions and tools needed to store, analyze, and display geographic information. So the software is the platform that helps you to analyze and display your geographic information. Then the software components are into different components as well. So we have the database or data management system. Then we have tools for inputs and manipulation of geographic information. Then we have tools that support geographic query, analysis and visualization. Then we have the graphical user interface for easy access to tools. So any GIS software uh, consists of this. A GIS software must have capacity to hold your data in terms of database management system. And a good GIS software must able to have tools for input and manipulation of your data. Then the good GIS software must have tools that support geographic query, analysis and visualization and of course most of this software in GIS mostly the difference is in, is in is in graphical user interface the interface is mostly what differentiates them before if we even talk of functionalities and tools then number three component of GIS is people people design sells and use GIS applications without people there's no GIS GIS technology is of limited value without the people who manage the system and to develop plans for applying it. So GIS users range from technicians to specialists who design and maintain the system to those who use it to help them do their everyday job. So people is very vital component of GIS. Then the fourth component of GIS is methods. Methods are well-designed plans or business rules describing how the technology is or should be applied. So the method may include guidelines, how things should be done, then specifications, standard, and procedures. So all this comprises the method, which is a component of GIS. Then the fifth component of GIS is data. In fact, data is the crux of GIS. Without data, there's nothing you can do and data also happen to be one of the most expensive components of GIS in terms of data collection. So data fuels a GIS and is the most important component of a GIS. Geographic data and related tabular or attribute data can be collected in-house or bought from commercial data provider. Most GIS create and maintain a database to help organize and manage data. Then the sixth component of GIS is network and communications. 
See, this sixth one is also very important. Cloud computing is a revolution in GIS industry. So it can only be possible by network and communication. When you produce your map, when you produce your result, analyze your data and come out to result, you may share it. So sharing is the crux of all doings. So the network and communication is vital component of GIS. So in summary, the component of GIS include the hardware, the people, the software, the data, the procedure, and the network. And if you look at it, it's a flow. It's a system that consists of different components, different units. And all the units or all the components are connected. So if you remove one, the system becomes useless. So this six component of GIS are related, connected, and they are working together. And the connection of these components make it a system, geographic information system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.